The South African Reserve Bank hiked its lending rate six times in 2022 and a further three times in 2023 in an effort to get inflation under control. The South African Reserve Bank maintained its benchmark interest rate at a 14-year high of 8.25% in 2023. While some economists expect the repo rate to drop in 2024, there are others that are concerned rates may go in the opposite direction. The Reserve Bank made it quite clear uh, in its statement that there were still significant upside risks to inflation. Oil prices, food prices could escalate very sharply should geopolitical events degenerate a lot. Secondly, El Nino is with us, the heat wave that we are having, unexpectedly hot weather at this time before midsummer, and that's part of a phenomenon that could result in drought conditions uh, over the next few months that cause food prices to rise by much more than anticipated. The outlook for 2024 remains uncertain due to both domestic and international events. South Africa, though, is faring better than some countries on the continent. Zimbabwe remains a country with the highest inflation at over 172 percent. Sudan, Ghana and Sierra Leone are following some way behind, while Nigeria's inflation is sitting at 20 percent. South Africa, as the most developed market in Africa, managed its response incrementally, while some countries opted for more drastic measures, raising interest rates by significant margins. Most of the central banks were dealing with a fiscal side, which was, in my view, overstretched and in some cases irresponsible. So they were responding to a number of uh, challenges. And of course, one final thing in the mix was a very strong dollar as well. Countries like Nigeria, Kenya were very slow to respond to the circumstances. They were conscious of the challenges they were facing. And in this game, when you respond slowly, you're behind the curve, the markets don't trust you. It's high time, I think, as a continent that we see a better, more mature response to the circumstances that we're facing. The main thing that's going to play to our advantage uh, going forward is that interest rates have topped in the West. The challenges faced by African economies are complex and multifaceted. The need for prudent economic management, timely responses and independence of central banks are crucial for navigating the uncertainties that lie ahead. Smitra Nadu, CGTN, Johannesburg, South Africa.